CataractCoach.com. Pure myopic cylinder lenticule extraction for corneal refractive surgery. And our guest surgeon here is Dr. Ivan Gabrich. Now, if you heard my podcast yesterday, a great podcast with Ivan, he's an ophthalmologist in Zagreb, Croatia, specializing in corneal refractive surgery. And he has a huge experience using the femtosecond laser to create lenticules for extraction for treatment of myopia. But this is a little tougher. This is a patient with pure myopic cylinder, such as someone who's plano minus two diopters, let's say at 90 degrees. Now think about that. That lenticule you're extracting is going to be tough to remove. It's not going to be as thick all around. It's going to be shaped, obviously, as a cylinder. and It'll be very thin at the very, very edge. How do you safely do it? Well, we're going to have a video here and show you. He has a series now of just these pure myopic cylinder uh, treatments, and as well as a huge library of patients who've had myopic treatment with the same laser. He's using these Schwind lasers, which you can see here in the picture and the video, are amazing. We don't have them available in the USA, so if you're a patient who's watching this, don't email me. We don't have the lasers. But I think you'll really enjoy this, and he's a really innovative surgeon. If you watch the video or the podcast from yesterday, I promise you will love it and you'll learn a lot, even if you use the older femtosecond lasers we have here in the USA to do the same treatment. All right, check it out. Let's get to the video. Here you can see the refraction, Plano minus 4 at 170 degrees. And here is the laser, the Schwind Atos, doing a femtosecond treatment. There we go, creating that lenticule. Very nicely done. This laser docks so easily, centers up all by itself. It is great. Here comes now the anterior surface, coming all the way out. That should go a little bit bigger than the posterior surface. And there it is. And now we need a side cut to go extract it. And bottom right of your screen, you're gonna see coming up here, there's the side cut. Looks great, so very brief treatment here. Now, opening up the pocket, getting inside there, and look at the dissection here, first going above above to get on top of that lenticule. This is the anterior dissection. You can see starting off here, once you've got a little bit of pocket there, an anterior pocket, you can place this instrument here to really dissect it fully. Now remember, the very edges of this lenticule are exceedingly thin, like, you know, one micron or something, tiny. So you want to go all the way out there with this device. There we go. Good dissection. Very good. Make sure it's totally complete. I like that last extra pass here just to make sure it's fully complete. Now you've got to dissect underneath the lenticule, the posterior dissection. So here going underneath the lenticule, creating again a little posterior pocket. There you go. And once that's created, you'll get that same instrument in and do a full dissection. There's the posterior pocket created now. And then going inside and remember to get this dissection all the way out, all the way to the edge. Nicely done, back and forth. And this technique works very, very well. I like that. I had an opportunity to see Ivan perform many of these surgeries in one day. I went in person to his clinic, and I really enjoyed. Really a nice setup that they have there with multiple different lasers. And so now here's the full dissection. And once that's done, this is going to be easy to remove this lenticule. So here's the full dissection all the way out to the edges. Again, making sure just one extra pass. And now that it's fully dissected, Easy enough. There you can grab it and you just sweep it and pull it right out of the eye. And now let's put it on top of the cornea and then unfold it and make sure it's a complete lens. Make sure nothing is left behind. Is it totally complete? Look at that. It looks fantastic. Beautifully done. And then he does not irrigate the, the pocket anymore. He just simply is done with the case. So he learned a good lesson not to do that. So here you go, the post-op. There's that lens You can see there's the uh, laser pattern that was done to create that lenticule. Again, pure myopic cylinder. Here you can see the before and after of the corneal um, curvature. And you can see there, it really had quite an effect. You can see the before and after. And then there, the bottom of the screen is the difference between the two. And that looks really good. That's the tangential anterior curvature. Again, the top left of your screen is before. Top right of your screen is after laser treatment, six days after. And the bottom left corner is the difference. So that is basically what was subtracted from the eye. And you can see a beautiful treatment of that. Now you can look at the pachymetry as well. Top left corner is the pachymetry before surgery. And then top right corner is the pachymetry after. You can see a little bit of tissue obviously was removed. And then the bottom left is the difference map. So again, this is six days post-op. And you can see the lenticule at the very edges is almost zero, basically zero microns. And the center, it's about 72 microns. 
So beautiful treatment here. Again, so much to learn. Remember, check out that podcast. It's everywhere you find podcast services. The sole purpose of the podcast is make you a better and more successful ophthalmologist. I'm sure you'll love it.